Well, I've been doing a little bit of work on the bikes. This is that uh, 78 Kawasaki KE100 I got. And, uh, this is, had the shift shaft and uh, kickstart shaft stripped out. So, went ahead and pulled the side cover off. I got that right here. I pulled that little cover off. I had this disconnected the carburetor that goes there and the oil injection pump that goes there a couple bolts and I had the clutch on there that goes right there so all I had to do to get this off I had a little circlip some of these will have a like a spanner nut. I know a lot of the Hondas do and you have to have a special tool for that. But uh, I had to pull the clutch off. That way I can get to this side of the shift shaft. Now what I've done, I got the kickstart shaft. It was all boogered up and welded so I cut it flush. And I did the same with the shift shaft. I'll show you here on the other side. Pulled this side cover off. Gives me this. Got the shift shaft here. And I went ahead and cut it off. That way, when it slides through this hole, it'll be nice and smooth. So I'll go ahead and show you how I'm going to do that. Got it right here. This is the other end of the shaft. It has this arm that comes up. It comes over here to your shift drum. Now I'll just pull this arm down. And this shaft will pull right out. It has a spring right there. And it's a flip when I pull it off of there. Now all I do is slide it out. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. I got my foot peg in the way. Got her. And there you go. Shift shaft is out. And I'll just put my new one in there. Make sure you drain your oil and everything before you pull that out of there. But got it right there. So I got my shift shaft out. I'm going to wait to get the new one. And I wish it was all that easy. But to replace this kickstart shaft, well, the shift shaft is that easy. You'll just slide it back in there and put everything back on. But this kickstart shaft, there's internal and external ones. This happens to be an internal one. So the other side of the shaft, the gears right here. And to replace that, I've got to pull the head, the cylinder, and split the case to get to that. So I'm going to have to get a whole gasket kit and probably throw a set of rings on there. And I have to put it all back together. It'll be good to go. Now, uh, before I ordered the shift shaft or the kickstart shaft, I saw an engine for sale, and uh, I put a bid on it. I uh, wasn't really expecting to get it, but I got it, and uh, so it's on the way too. So I guess I got another engine for one of these coming. Uh, I might throw that on here while I'm rebuilding this one, but uh, should be fun. I gotta check this out. Pulled the tank off. Uh oh, what we got there? Got a little snake that crawled up in here and shed its skin. Went through the wiring harness and over the coil and. There you go. So, good and ugly. Look at that. What we got in there? Uh-oh. I'm sure that uh, air filter looks sweet in there. But, uh, get this back together. Get all my parts. And then over to the Honda. This is the 76 CB360. And, uh, it sat outside for 17 years and was seized up. You catch that? Was seized up. So, uh, what had happened is somebody had stole some parts off of it, and a bunch of water and snow had came through the intake boot or the carburetor boot, through the carburetor, this intake boot, and it filled this cylinder up with water. So it was all rusty in there, and uh, I kept jumping on the kickstart trying to get it to break free and soaking it with the uh, good old. 
PB blaster, put some sea foam in there, and I just come out here every couple days and spray some in there and hop on it. And no luck. I have people come over, go ahead, hop up on there, try to kick that over for me. Then eventually, yesterday, I had my buddy come over and he kept hopping, and I said, you know, let's put it in gear and try rocking it. And it, it sounds easier <laughs> than it was, but we probably rocked it for a good half hour until finally i heard the i heard a zzz. i wasn't sure what it was at first but it was the starter winding so we had it moving up and down just a little bit and then pushed it forward as far as we could and gave it a good shove back and broke it free so really happy with this got the kick starts kicking over good got this plug out put my finger over this and kick it over maybe good compression this is the cylinder it's full of water I cleaned it out best I could sounds like it's got pretty good compression I have to put a put my compression tester on there but uh the points here i was wondering if it had spark i guess i have to get the key first and the points weren't moving at all so it's dual points i got a new set ordered throw them on there get my key for it the guy's supposed to be getting me that and uh pull these carburetors off and see if i can get it started so coming along i didn't know if this one was gonna get too far but i don't know we'll see get this engine pulled on this get it split start working on it get my other one see what's going on with it and uh, try to get this one up and going and street legal so uh, keep you guys tuned thanks for watching